you've mentioned a couple times in the past just Jordan's work ethic, what you saw, really what you've seen since since you've been with him in the organization. Can you maybe detail uh, some of that, what you saw from him, particularly during, I guess, nine months where you guys didn't have a game uh, behind the scenes? Yeah. Yeah. Uh... Man, uh, I, I usually show up about two hours, two and a half hours before, uh, you know, practice or shoot around. Or that's what I try to try to do more often than not. Um, and most of the times Jordan is in here before I am. And uh, <clears throat> during the summer, he was lifting like two and three times. I'm like, in my mind, I'm like, man, like you got to take a break. Like, you know, your body is not, you know, it has a limit, but. It's work for him, man, and he's putting, like I say, he was here before I was. He was staying after, lifting again, shooting extra. I know he works out with Packy Turner as well. Um, I can't account for all the work that he's doing, but it's showing, and you guys are seeing it. So, um, like I said, man, these kids, I look at these young kids, I always tell them, man, I wish I was y'all's age again because, you know, when I was their age, I was in college and I was struggling in college. I was sitting on the bench. I had injuries and I didn't approach the game the same way they approach. Obviously they're pros for a reason. You have to have a pro mentality, but they're just so mature in the way they approach the game. You know, when things get hard for them, they don't waver and they just keep working. And I commend them and I, you know, I tip my hat to them. I salute them for that. Cause like I said, when I was their age, man, it makes me look back and say, damn, I wish I would have did that differently. Um, and they keep me young. I love those young kids, Nico, Jordan, uh, Wise. I spend a lot of time with them. I joke with them a lot because they keep me young. And obviously, like, I'm considered, a, I guess, a second-year player or a rookie, whatever it is. So uh, I'm, I'm just standing with their, them, standing right there with them all the time through everything. Uh, like I said, I just try to be a good teammate and be supportive. But that kid, man, a lot of people are going to eat their words about that kid, and I'm excited to see it. Thank you, sir. Appreciate that. All right, we'll have uh, Damien up here in a second. Um, we have uh, uh, Damien Lee. Uh, name and affiliation. Uh, name and affiliation, please. There you go. You guys like my double R impression? It was great. Uh, I heard pretty- better, but it was really good. Yeah, my I I need so I need I need some water. I'm I'm a little parched. Um, a lot of guys have talked to kind of detailed Jordan's work behind the scenes. Obviously, we have not been around like normal. Um, from your perspective, what have you seen from him the really the last year and a half? Um, I mean, shoot, everyone's basically said it. I mean, his kid's a workhorse, puts in hours. Um. I mean, if he could, I know, I know, I know, like most of us, but I know like him, he would uh, live in the gym. So, I mean, kids have been putting in hours and hours of work, uh, even putting in hours in the development of his body, seeing how his body's changed, uh, you know, over the course of the last, I guess, year, year and a half of knowing him. Um, kids are workhorse and just wants to learn. Yes, you know, questions and just wants to learn and continue to get better. When you say body development, you just like bigger up top, stronger in the paint, that kind of thing. Yeah, bigger, being able to finish through contact. Um, you know, losing losing some of the baby fat. Um, you know, body fat down, and uh, I mean, really, that comes with nutrition. You know, change the new, change his nutrition, and um, you know, from there, I feel like I mean, obviously, his work has taken off. You know, from his performance wise, but you know, being able to play longer, um, yeah. Been great for him. I mean, I'm extremely happy for him. Seeing the progress that, you know, he was. Seeing how people, you know, people try to write people off of having whatever one bad year or a couple of bad months and this and that. But I mean, at the end of the day, the work is always going to prevail. And as long as you work and you work and you keep your head down and don't listen to anything, you have a pretty good chance to be successful. And uh, JP is definitely a testament to that. 